Hello. In the previous video, we created a basic form and we've got it, well, it's not fully functional as of yet. And as you can see, oh, I just noticed this section's a bit too big there. I might make that back to 46. I might do that. But so I'm sorry, getting distracted there. Um, but what we're going to do next, we're actually going to put the code in to get this thing fully working. And of course, all the codes and everything are in a notepad document and they will be made available. As for where, it could be on YouTube. I'm currently at the moment updating my website to include these videos and folders and of course, you know, in other places as well. So back onto Dreamweaver and first of all just that's just annoying me so six. There you go, that actually me makes me happy. Now the one thing we've got to do with PHP is quite different and I'm going to explain that right now in a bit more detail. Okay, we're looking at um, how PHP works and for this I'm going to be using Flash to draw diagrams. I always feel diagrams help a bit better. So we have PHP which I said earlier was short for Hypertext Preprocessor and PHP can be embedded into a HTML page so I'm just going to do a very fancy see I've got my tablet out so I'm doing my fancy page Oop. Let's do that. There we go. So you could have a page with HTML right there and more HTML here. So you could have PHP embedded in the dead center of it or anywhere else on the page. And that's very much what we're going to be doing with our contact form. It is going to be sitting in the middle. PHP, which is hidden, you can never ever see it, but it is hidden, is going to be in the background there. Even when you view the source code on a HTML page, you don't see the PHP, so it's very handy. But for but to explain further about how PHP works, I'm just gonna have this section delete it. With your HTML page, so we've got our HTML page, and you could also have your PHP as a separate thing here, PHP. So that's PHP sitting good and pretty there. So HTML takes, actually I'll choose a different color for this, takes data, so that could be like, let's say I'm logging into a forum page and I've sent my name, I'm giving it, I'm saying my password, so it's going to be sent to PHP, I don't know why that did that there, so try that again, sent to PHP. PHP then sends the data on. Let's do it at the back here. To a separate program, which I'm going to make. Let's say pink. Oh, pink. To my S Q R U R L. You might have heard of this. Embarrass oh, My S Q R L. Got the my bit, my SQL. That's it, my SQL. So, yeah, it sends it to my SQL, which then takes the data, checks it, and let's say I put in the correct password. So, it's going to send it back to PHP, and if it is correct, so a nice tick there, it'll send it either to a so another HTML page or PHP or Java or whatever, whatever page. So if it is correct, it goes to the HTML page and I can go on and post forums, etc. But let's say, for instance, if it's wrong, what PHP, well, MySQL does, it says no, that's not the right one. So it lets PHP know and then PHP will think, okay, if it's wrong, you will go to a different HTML. ML page probably telling you oh wrong password and all that or display 
a message generated by PHP saying, sorry, wrong password, you want to try again. And that's basically what PHP does. It looks at the data contained within MySQL and I, I always think there's an R in that, sorry. MySQL and checks it and if it is correct, it'll perform a function. If not, it'll perform another function. It's always checking if something's correct or not. And sometimes it may perform other actions, it may do something else. It's up to you how you program it. So moving swiftly back onto Dreamweaver, as I say, we're going to put the code right in. So there's a couple of files we're going to need. First of all, we're going to do is edit, change the value to a bit of PHP code, which I have included. So we'll go to the folder here and we've got form code. So I'm going to open that up and here we've got three sets of code. They're all generally the same. The only difference is that name is changed by email in two places. So I'm just going to copy the first one here and what this does, PHP always ends, well, always starts with a bracket question mark then the PHP is optional but I always find it's always good to include just to make sure that we know what kind of code we're talking about and ends in a question mark close bracket there so this one's going is set so you know is the set and we, we post name so names the value we're putting in the name section so I'm going to minimize this so just to explain so we've got the name here which is value name, so it's asking for the name value and it's going to echo, so it's going to echo the name and post it. So that's the code we need, so it's tailing us to copy the name and send it, basically. So copy and paste. We're going to do this in the split view, so I'm going to click on split view. Just pull this out a bit more, actually we don't need insert anymore, so I'm just going to minimize that so I've got more space. So I'm looking for, where is it? That's email. Here we go. Name, and I'm looking for value val. So I'm going to highlight val and delete it, and then I'm going to paste that code into there. So if I click refresh, we there we go. I just wonder if it works better. Not quite. Don't worry, this will all make sense later on when we save this as a PHP page. Yes, we're going to be doing that as well. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to get the next one, which is email. Copy that back onto here. Look for his email address. So we're looking for the value. There we go. Value equals val. Get rid and paste. There we go. Do not worry if this hasn't changed color. Usually it does change color, but as I said, this is still working with HTML. It's not realizing I am the PHP just yet. We're going to have to save it as PHP to do that. Now, if you recall, with the comments, we did not put a value in here. So what we're going to do here, you can see we've got text n slash text area. Just make sure you put it in between there. So make sure your cursor's there. And as well, I'm going to grab this guy, copy, back to here, cursor is still there, and paste, refresh. Now as you see, we've got the code right there. So one, one last thing, well one more thing we're going to do, we're going to add some more code into this, but before we do anything, I'm actually going to start saving this as a PHP page, and you can actually do that. So you can have HTML embedded within PHP, or you can have PHP embedded inside HTML. Works both ways. So we're going to go to File, Save As, and this time I'm going to set this as con, oh, contact dot P, oh, PHP and to make absolute sure I'm going to go down here to PHP just to make absolute sure save I was thinking a bit about it Ooh, and for some reason <laughs> my screen shrunk sort this out now. 
So now as you can see, if we look back down to the PHP code we copied earlier, we have it's changed red here and there to emphasize that I am PHP, I recognize myself to be PHP. So the very, very last thing we've got to do now, we've just got to copy some code into this. And we're going to do this before the form, so it's got to sit outside of it. So where exactly we're going to be doing it. Remember in the first video I said that I'm going to use this please fill out the form, well please, please fill out the following contact form as an anchor point. And I'm actually going to put it right in here. So I'm actually going to put a nice big space. I'm going to leave that bit there. So nice big space here, ready to paste my code. And luckily that is available on PHP code right here. And you can just copy this entire lot right here. And just paste. Now these long sections here, they're just comments, which you can delete, so just to tell you what it is. So this checks the submission form submitted. And it checks the BC, or say CC, BCC, etc. And if the if a very bad string is submitted, so it's looking for a bad string, replaces it. So this one's called the spam scrubber. This one helps out get rid of anyone that's trying to people unfortunately have found ways of getting your email even through a basic contact form. So this I got a book off a book about PHP. Yes, and the book is here's a, here's a book available on Amazon. Yes, I actually <laughs> copied PHP and everything I had to make the contact form and to make it um, check your emails to stop spam. It's all in there. I took the code from this, so I'm, I'll you know I'm not going to take the credit for somebody's work there. Brilliant book. Um, unfortunately, I've had I've always had difficulty with PHP understanding it. So yes, this checks to make sure that anyone trying to get your email can get it. Now the main things you are going to have to change in this, we scroll down here. You see, send the email. We've got mail, and this is where you put your own email address into. I'm not going to be doing it because I don't like giving my email address out. And here's what it'll label give it the, the name so you could call it contact or you know details from contact form etc and then it'll print out the message once people have submitted it thank you for contacting me I'll get back to you as soon as possible and it'll clear string so and of course else if it's not filled up correctly it will say in bold black you can change the color there to please fill out the form in full so there we go with all that saved, if we go file, save, I don't, th this will only work once we've got it fully published. So I'm just going to preview it in Chrome. And here we go to preview this may contain server side code, which is the PHP. So it's not going to fully work until you do actually publish it. So that's the only disappointing thing of PHP. So I'm going to say no, and we can see it's there but as we said before and it is coming up with all this code here but this is a code that I use very much on my own website and I did use in this page here that I created for a client and I can satisfy that it does work and again it's from a published book as well which is very well known so there you go that's how you get it working I apologize I couldn't test it out fully until but but I guarantee you, if you have a go, you won't be disappointed. If you follow this very carefully, you can't go wrong.